Hey folks, Johnny has got the lotto scratching. We are scratching a $100 batch of California scratch tickets. Well, good afternoon. This is the afternoon session and we thank you for joining us. I'm here. Third hand, are you here? I am here. The boss is here. And we got ourselves a complimentary set, two different flavors of tickets. A couple of the $20 100X and then a pair of the newest $30 200X. And they kind of work together. Hopefully, they'll win together. We're going to find out shortly. Please, please don't forget the morning session or third hand slots. Those links are down below somewhere in the description. Very good. All right. So we're going to take a look at our coin of the moment first, and then we'll get to scratching. And maybe if we win something, we can afford another one of these. One of my favorite coins. This is a $5 gold piece, a $5 Indian. And unlike many of the coins where they're known as Indian heads or whatever, um, even though it's Lady Liberty, this one is actually supposed to be an Indian, a Native American with a headdress. Third hand, is this one an actual single guy or is this one of the composite ones? I don't remember. You know, that's a good question because the Buffalo Nickel I know is the composite. Yeah, Buffalo Nickel has a Native American on it that is a composite of three different chiefs. This Indian... But it's different, so... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway... It is a nice looking coin, nice big headdress, and it is an incused design. It means it's not a relief sticking up. It's actually in the surface, ingrained or entrenched. Here is the eagle on the back. Likewise, you can kind of see that it's kind of an optical illusion, but it is uh, entered into the surface as opposed to sticking out of it. It is a spendable $5. It's still money, 90% um, gold. A little bit of other material to make sure it's not too bendy um, and it's a nice condition AU55 so it's just short of being uncirculated third hand what would you say this graded coin 1913 by the way 111 years old uh, what would you say it's worth uh, 900 or so 900 bucks for a five dollar coin cool I always wanted these when I was a young and nice to have them now and how much was it worth in 1913 five dollars exactly yeah yeah and then they came out with the um, income tax and <laughs> and so much for the value of that. All right, not that one had to do with the other, but it sort of does at the same time. Because oh, they start was, taking your money. Yeah, well, that was the Federal Reserve that was established. Yeah, when was nineteen thirteen? Right, but when was federal also income. income tax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was both. That's what I thought. But I was talking about that. So they both get you. Well, because if they take your tax, right, that yeah. means the money you had, the five dollars, is now actually worth less in a sense because. You have less of it left over, but yeah, yeah that's not the literal sense. Okay, <clears throat> all that nonsense aside, let's get down to scratching. 100x ticket, find a match. If and when we do find a match, then we can check for the multiplier, which could be a uh, 10, 20, actually could be a 1, 10, 20, 50, or 100x. There's a cash stack symbol. There's a cash value. A cash value. A cash stack for 250, which we have never found. Yet. Do you think they put good wins in these things? Let's hope they do, and let's find them now. All right, one second. I got an eyebrow itch. Okay. 12, 23, 18, 46, double two, number one, 26, 41. Yeah, and if I was off on the dates I was just talking about, feel free to let me know. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, we have 12, 23, 18, okay, well, whatever. Got this track, 36, a 4, 13, 6, 38, no, no, single 2, 21. Look like they want to be the right numbers, but no. Nope. A niner, 34, double 1. 15. Eight, 19, 24, 29, 28. I think we're going to have to open it up a little bit third hand. Thirty-five, thirty-seven, twenty-five, forty-three, sixteen. 32, 31, 42, and doggone it. All right, nothing on the triple zero ticket. 
Now we have to get 29. This was one book and then the other. That's why we have a triple zero there and a ticket 29 here. But they are two different books. Actually, it's one book after the other. Look, in the third hand, we don't usually get that. Book 217. And then book yeah. 216. Interesting. All right. Let's see if it matters. Double four, 31. 42, double two. 35, 37. 43, 45. Come on, let's get that cash stack for the first time. Prove it's real. 16. 36. 29. Niner. 17. 34. A single four. 23. Five. Seven. 41. 15. Hold it still there. <clears throat> Number eight. 27. Double one. 1345. Hey! Yeah, it's not a loser. Multiplier only if we find another match. 19. Otherwise, it waits till the end. Okay. Single two. Moochie toes. 39. 6. 38. 18. 26. We'll get another 50x. That would be nice. Let's get a, get a 100x for the first time. 45. Nope. Uh, you can take, take a giant win. win. It won't be. It'll be, oh, but it'll be a good one, actually. It was like getting a 50x with a dollar. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wow. So 50 bucks on a $20 ticket. That's all right. It is, actually. So half our money back on the second ticket in. Cool. <clears throat> We're actually up right now. Technically, on what we spent on the tickets, we are up $10. All right. So let's see if we can get any win here. At least we'll be close at the worst. And perhaps we'll actually find some profit. <clears throat> Ticket Niner. All right, fix the zoom. The uh, fast spots, find that cash roll. 100, 250, 500, or 1,000. Let's see. Start on the less likely side. Stupid box. Yeah. Always thinks it because of its density and the shape or the darkness. It looks like it wants to be a cash roll. Square form. Double one, 17, double nickel, 16, 36, 7, 23, 39, 58, number one. All right. Come on, third ham. Let's win. 48. This has, by the way, 5, 10, 50, 100, and 200 X, and a win symbol for a win all. 48. 32. 59 and 12. 35, a three, 53, 31, 47, 27, 29, 28, 15, 34, and 37. 43, 56, no, 18, 51, 26, 46, a single four, 38. Come on, ticket, any win. 57, a double two. 21. 54, 24, 41, a 14, last row on the penultimate ticket, number six, double three, 19, not this time? Yeah, I don't even get it. <laughs> got it before you, and 52, nothing. All right, let's hope the second one comes into play again. Ticket number 10. <clears throat> any $50 win and we've gained nothing <laughs> exactly <laughs> but we've lost nothing we've lost nothing too 
No bonuses. Go to win search. Win search. Okay. And say this one right here. That's going to be the winner. <laughs> 45 1 Moochie Toes. 38 53 57 4. 34 23 number 8. Which one? I already forgot if it was this one or this one. <laughs> if we win, I won't care. All right, 47. 36. 58. Come on, it's been forever since we've got something amazing. 18. Double one. Double four. 16, 46. 32. 37, 54, 48, 28, 31, uh, 59, and 39. No, and no, 7, 12. Come on, how about a multiplier? 56. You think they put multipliers in a multiplier ticket? Almost never. <laughs> 19. Double nickels, single three, niner, and a 24, uh-oh. Six, 29, 49er, 26, 35, 25, and the last row on the last ticket, we need a big save, 15, <clears throat> 27, 43, 200x, <laughs> uh -oh. 0x, yeah, oh, what? got me, oh. I saw the 4 first, eh. oh. I, I, oh. Could do, I saw just the 4 and I, I saw that 4 oh. and I got excited and it was wrong. Oh. <laughs> so that's what it feels like. Oh, terrible. that's terrible. <laughs> wow. It's embarrassing and it feels like such a letdown. We got 50 whole dollars. Doggone it. All right. Well, yeah, we did get half back. Single ticket win. So not a total loss, but uh, uh, we're still at $50 too. Uh, well, well, but we managed to still have a little fun. I hope, I hope you folks <laughs> did too. Thank you for making time. If you haven't yet, Please hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, share the entertaining experience, leave a comment, hit the notification button, and that will do it for now. So for myself, third hand, Mrs. Gato, all the cats, and the silver spoon pointing to a eh, okay win. Be well, be safe, and be here, and we'll see you next time. Take care, folks.